What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor real quick and look at this team that we have right now. This team is probably one of the coolest teams that I showed off ever in Pokemon Sword and Shield. We got a Choice Band Lucario, Lumberry Garchomp, and Solar Power Charizard team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. But this team right here was sent in by my main man, Trenton. Trenton, shout out to you for coming in clutch and dropping an absolute banger of a team. I cannot wait to get after it and show off this team on the ranked double ladder. But starting off in that top left corner, we have our support mod, and that is going to be Whimsicott. Prankster ability and the focus sash as our item so we don't get one tap. Moon Blast for stab, Tailwind to set up for speed, Taunt for support Pokemon, and Sunny Day to get weather control and pair up with that Charizard. Right next to him is going to be a Pokemon that I absolutely love, and I'm pretty sure most people love. That is going to be Lucario over here. Inner focus ability, so Intimidate doesn't work on us, or Fake Out won't work either. We have the choice band to do a lot more damage. Then we got Close Combat and Meteor Mash for stab. Ice Punch for coverage and Extreme Speed for first turn priority. Middle left, we got Regilecki, Transistor ability, Magnet item, Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, E Web, and Protect. Normal moveset, normal item, normal ability for Regilecki. I don't really need to go in depth with that one. Right next to him, it's going to be Tapu Lele, and this Tapu Lele has the choice specs on it and a Psychic Surge as its ability. This thing is going to be able to hit like a truck and get us rolling and pick up some KOs in a battle. We have Psychic and Dazzling Gleam both for our stab moves, and then our coverage moves are going to be Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt. Bottom left corner is going to be Garchomp, a great physical attacker for the team. Rough Skin ability, Lumberry as their item, so if they put, a, put on status conditions on us, we can just eat that berry, neglect it, and get back into that battle. Dragon Claw and EQ for stab, Rock Slide for coverage, and we have Sword Stance to set this Pokemon up and potentially sweep with them once we get that Sword Stance set up. Final Pokemon is going to be Charizard. Do I have to say anything about this Pokemon? One of the best Pokemon in double battles, in my opinion. It has Solar Power and Life Orb as its item, and then Heat Wave and Air Slash for stab, Scorching Sands for coverage, and Protect as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Choice Band Lucario, Lumberry Garchomp, and Solar Power Charizard team. When I first saw this team, I was like, there is no way we are not using this for a YouTube video. Just look at it. It just looks so pleasing and looks so strong at the same time. You got the Lucario, the Garchomp, the Charizard. Then you got the Lele and Regilecki and the Wimscott. It looks so dominating and looks like we're going to grab some wins on the ranked double ladder. But we're hopping into our first battle. We're going up against a rain team with Kingdra and Politoed. He also has the Wimscott for a Tailwind, Indeedee, Storm Drain, Gastron, and Kartana as his final Pokemon. Okay. I definitely want to go into Wimscott, and I might go Wimscott and Charizard. That could be a play. But, you know, we're just going to go Wimscott and Lucario. I think we're going to get after it that way. I do I do like that. Well, I can't go Regilecki. I could, instead of Wimscott, go Regilecki. I really do like. Let's go Regilecki. Um, I definitely want to bring Lucario. No, I do want uh, I do want Wimscott just for that uh, sunny day. I'm going to go with you, you, and I'm going to bring Charizard in case we get the sunny day rolling. And final Pokemon. Do I bring Regilecki? As much as I want to, I feel like Garchomp could do a little bit better. Once we get rid of that uh, that Kingdra. But I am going to bring the Garchomp, and we're going to get rocking out from there. Okay, I'm with it. I'm totally with it. So I can set up a Tailwind to take speed, or I can just sunny day to take away their speed from the Swift Swim. But we'll see who he leads. I feel like Kingdra is a must bring for him, right? I feel like Kingdra's a must bring, Politoed's a must bring. Actually, Politoed's not a must bring. Wimscott could be brought in besides that. I feel like Kartana's a back end Pokemon that he's definitely gonna bring in. We have Charizard and Garchomp to actually uh, neglect that and do big damage onto that Pokemon. But let's get after it. Let's see if we can get ourselves a win in battle number one with this team. But guys, let me know for question of the day what Pokemon will you be using when? Pokemon Unite releases. Considering it just got a release date, July 21st, it will go live. Everybody can play it for free. Just download it in the eShop. I'm going to be doing live streams on, on it, so if you guys want to join my live stream, link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch live streams are going to be back. We're going to be crushing that online ladder and try to get some ranks up. But definitely let me know for question of the day what Pokemon you guys are going to be using. But it leads these two Pokemon, and uh, I kind of want to taunt. Because I don't see you taking me out in one shot, so I am going to end up taunting. I could just drop an Ice Punch. I could drop an Ice Punch. Or I could uh, twist it to a Meteor Mash. Or I could do a Close Combat. Close Combat would be really good, but I think Meteor Mash is going to be our play. And we're going to get after it that way. But let's do it. He might Dynamax here. He's not going to Dynamax. He's just going to Screeze. 
We're gonna start setting up screens and we're gonna be able to hit on this uh hit on this what's called really really hard. The swims got. So our taunt comes out. Focus energy is popping you. This thing's looking for crits. This thing is looking for crits, which I don't like one bit. There goes our meteor match now. Is this thing sashed? That's the real question. Oh, he's definitely light. Oh, he's not sash. I thought he was going to say... I thought he was going to be light clades, considering he's setting up screens. I mean, I'm fine with that. We are definitely going to Tailwind now, just so we can outspeed everybody. And go for this. Just in case he drops an ice on me. I don't want him to just drop ice on me, you know? Yes, go for a hitting move, but Lucario should be faster once we get off this Tailwind. So let's just see spikes. Unless he has Taunt, which actually he can't Taunt. You can't taunt if you're taunted. <laughs> I dig that. But he focused energy, so I'm kind of scared. I'm not even going to lie. This dude can crit me left and right. But we are going to take speed throughout this battle. And I don't see him taking out my Wimscott unless he goes for a Hail Swim. But most uh, most kings just don't rock Hail on their moveset. It's usually a water move, a dragon move. Sometimes dragon move. I shouldn't say all the time dragon move. He's going to end up swapping you. Who are you going to go into? He's going to gash down, which oh, I'm totally fine with. Are you going for a water move? What are you going for? Are you going for a water move? He did focus energy, which I'm kind of scared of. So he's going to get some crits. Maybe he goes there for Wimscott. Let's just see what he does. He does have lovely Storm Drain Gastron, and he might set the rain. So if he does set the rain here, actually he can't. He's just going to get Storm Drain. So he can't set the rain by doing that. Let's see what his plays. Here goes our Tailwind. We're going to start taking speed. We're going to start getting after it this way. And we're going to see what he does. There's a Meteor Mash dropping through. You, it's Choice Bandit, so doing a decent amount of damage, even though it's not very effective. And the Airstream is going to fly through, which is going to uh, proc our Focus Sash, which I really, really like. So our Sash is now proc. Our lovely little Sash. And he gets a crit, because his Focus Energy popped up. Don't like that one bit. Um, I think I just uh, have Sunny Day pop through here, right? Like, do I have Sunny Day? I think that's our only play. I could go for a moon blast, but this thing could be policy. I'm gonna drop a sunny day just to get weather control onto this thing. And I guess we'll drop another meteor mash over onto you. Try to do as much damage as I can, even though I think Gastron might protect. He does not. Wonderful. Alright, sunny day popping out here. Lucario's just chipping away. Doing big chip damage here. Sunny day's out and about, so if he does go for a water move, we should be fine. Meteor mash gonna poke through. Bang. Get off some of these damage there. Next guys are going to come through here and, yo, what are you doing? Does he know he's Storm Drain? Unless he's doing this on purpose. Unless he's doing this on purpose. Let's see his move. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. He's going to recover. Uh, I might double down into him now. That's a waste of a turn. That's a big waste of a turn. I don't think he realized what he was doing. I don't want to proc policy in case he has it. So I'm just going to go into the same thing that I did. Actually, I could swap Lucario. I could swap Lucario. Let's swap Lucario into Garchomp. That's why I have Lucario in the back end again. But I swap into Charizard. Because he can't go for water. But he can go for air. I say we do this. Just so I can get off a of Dragon Claw next turn. Because I know we'll be able to outspeed. Yeah, we're going to swap that Lucario. We're going to go for a lovely little Moon Blast. And I think we should be fine. Because I think he's going to go for an Airstream more so than anything. I mean, he's going to withdraw that Gastron. I dig it. And who are you going to send out here? He's going to send this little thing out here, Ndidi. With the Surge that is full of Psychic. So I cannot go for Sunny Days anymore. Unless I get rid of the Surge. But the only way I can get rid of it is through a Dynamax. And I don't even think I have any Pokemon that can Dynamax and change up the Surge. Special defense boost gets popping, and here goes our moon blast. And I wonder if you're taking out the Wimscott. I really do wonder what you're doing here. This dude's confusing me. He's gonna go for a geyser now. Okay, now he's gonna go for a geyser and change up the weather. And take out my Wimscott. Yo, I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that because Dynamax turns are over. And do I outspeed? No, I don't think I outspeed that you anymore. Hmm. I don't think I outspeed that Kingdra anymore because Kingdra's plus one. But again, we do have lovely little Tailwind. I'm going to go Charizard, and I'm going to try to... Do I Dynamax? Who do I Dynamax? Maybe Garchomp. Yeah, let's Dynamax to Garchomp here. Get rid of this Kingdra. And just protect the Charizard. That's going to be my play. 
Protect charge. He can go for a follow me, which, which I don't like, but we're still going to go for this. I could go for the Quake. The Quake could be the play. He just goes for follow me, but at the same time, I really want to get rid of this Pokemon. So we're going to Worm win here and go for a Dynamax. And go for this lovely Dynamax. And it is going to show who's faster. I really do want to know the speeds for this Tailwind. Even though I think this is the last turn in Tailwind. But we'll see what he does. Maybe he goes for an Expanding Force. Maybe he doesn't go for that follow me. That would be huge. That would be huge, but that's what I'm looking for. But I still have Lucario in the back end. This one's going to be so good. It's going to be good battle here. And I'm kind of banking on that uh, King Jar not rocking the Ice move. And he's going to withdraw. Okay, I dig it. And he's going to go into it. He's going to go back into Wimscott. Shoot. Dang it, yo. What a read. I'll give him props on that one. Yo, nice read. But he does lead, uh, lose that speed boost. Let's lose that speed boost. I knew I should have went into that Quake. The Quake should have been the play. Unless he goes for a follow me. I would love to see a follow me. But there's no shot he goes into follow me now. I think he's just trying to read that uh, dragon move. Which he did. He did correctly. He did it so well. Let's see what his play is. We're going to protect here. Get a nice big block. And I wonder what indeed he's going to do. That doesn't affect you. And Expanded Force is going to pop through. And my card trap should be able to eat up just fine. Maybe we'll just eat up just fine. Look at that. Tasty little snack there. Okay. The light screens are off. Tailwind's gone. He can tailwind now as well. I'm just going to heat wave just to take out that wind scott and do damage on that slot. And I could worm wind, but I think quake would be better. Just get that special defense boost and pop off onto this uh, indie slot. I think he's just going to tailwind, right? That's got to be his play. Let's say really good battle. Win or lose this one. This is a really good battle. A really good battle. The Wimscott has this is Wimscott's last turn, unless it protects. But I don't see it protecting. I see it setting up like a tailwind or something. I see his play. Is he gonna tailwind? Yep, he's gonna tailwind. He, he takes a back end speed advantage. And that might win him the game there. It's gonna be a close one. And Light Screen's gonna get set up. Wow, you have wow, you have both these Pokemon. Setting up screens. Screens on both these guys. He wave comes through. Says see you later, Wimscott. We're gonna take you out and we're gonna do a little bit of damage over onto that uh indeed can we get a burn that would be lovely if we got a burn but we're gonna show our orb and then we're gonna drop this quake and get a special defense boost which is gonna be lovely bang doing some nice damage and charizard should be able to take that out with an air slash no problem if we can get it all i can see him going potentially into his uh kingdra or he might be saving his kingdra for the back end which i do have lucario in the back and I can choice into a close combat, which is base 120. And we have that choice band damage on top. Plus stab, he can do some big damage. So that's why I really want to swap him out and get him, get him in that back end. Just so we can have a strong Pokemon chilling in the back and maybe pick up KO for the win. Let's see how this one plays out. We have one more turn left in this Dynamax, so we gotta use it good. We gotta use it good. I feel like that last turn was really good for us. For that special defense boost. And he's gonna go into you now. And who's this final mind? Did we even get to see it yet? It is Gastron. It's going to be Gastron. But I feel like I can just go into a free air slash here to take you out. And just Worm Wind. Right? I'm just going to Worm Wind. It's a free Worm Wind, right? He might follow me just to protect the same. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. And hopefully Charizard outspeeds. I think Charizard will outspeed. Which could be really good for us. Unless he's going for a pump. Oh, he's just trying to focus in. This might work perfectly for us. I need my Charizard outspeed, which I think he does. Charizard does outspeed. Yo, this is going to be lovely. Get out of here, Ndidi. Bad play by this guy. Very bad play by this guy. Very poorly played by this guy. He goes for a focus energy. Now we're able to take out with the air slash. Worm went over on this slot. Get out of here, Kingdra. And your boy's going to take battle number one easily now. Easily now. So what he should have done was maybe hydro pump into my Charizard. Say he takes out my Charizard there. Let's say he takes out my Charizard. That means my Worm Wind slides over to Ndidi. We take out Ndidi. Then it becomes a 2v2 and my Dynamax is gone. And then it would have been Gastrodon and... And what's called? And Lucario versus Beast or Kingdra and Gastrodon. Yeah, Gastrodon and Kingdra versus my uh, Garchomp and Lucario. And he would have had Swift Swim advantage. But now, your boy's sitting in the front seat. He's going to be dominating this battle. And this one's pretty much GG's. It's pretty much GG's. He's probably just going to cancel it. No, he does not cancel. Air Slash is going to fly through. Get after him. Even though he is Tailwind, Charizard's still outspeeding. Can Garchomp do the same? 
He does. He does. Bang. Dragon Claw comes out here. And this thing is going to eat its lovely little citrus berry? Is it citrus? Let's see. No, that's more than citrus. It's a weaky berry. And he flinches, yo. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game, yo. Great first battle, though. Long drawn out. Got to show off this team. Swapped out Lucario at the right time. And got the two big dogs in here. Our big physical attacker and our big special attacker to get rocking out, no problem. But I should be dropping EQs more than Dragon Claws, considering it doesn't hit Charizard. And it's going to be able to do more damage. But he cancels battle, and we go 1-0 to start off today's video. It is time to go back to back. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Reggie Gigas team alongside with Weezing, Regilecki, Cinderace, which I gotta watch out for, Urshfu, which I gotta watch out for, and Jinx, which I don't really gotta watch out for, but I'm scared of what it's going to do. How should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I'm thinking I want my Whimscott out here again. Whimscott is just a great lead all around, and I might lead Lucario with it once again. Lucario just hits hard. He's just, he's just strong, and I can choice into any move I want, so I think that's a decent play for me. I definitely want this Garchomp. And I think I'm going to go Charizard again. I think we're just going to go same squad. I feel like it's just looking really good for us. And we can dominate with that exact same squad. And pick ourselves up another win in battle number two. But I think he might go into the Regigigas and Weezing lead. That is just... Uh, that's looking right for him. But if he doesn't, I can just set up a Tailwind. Which I might just do regardless. He doesn't have any weather. But let me see his lead. Let me just see his lead before I just start, start making plays. But that was a good first battle, it really was. Granted, I think the opponent did make a mistake by focusing energy at Kingsra, but it was a long, cool, drawn-out battle, and your boy ended up picking up that win in the end. Let's see who he leads. He's going to go into Cinerace and Jinx, which, okay, I'm cool with. I'm totally fine with that. And I wonder what the Jinx is going to do, though. I'm kind of scared of what the Jinx is going to do. The Jinx definitely has something up its sleeve. Um, I could go for a Meteor Mash and just get after his Jinx, or I can choice to a close combat, which I might do. Hmm. I think he's going to change typings. What do I want to do here? I could swap, say he's going to go into fire. But I definitely want to set up a tailwind, and I think we're just going to meteor mash. Even though I really do think this thing is going to be sash, we're just going to tailwind, and we're going to get after it this way. Let's do it. Is he going to dynamax? He is. He is going to go for the dynamax, and probably just go for that fireball, and roll out with that. Hopefully Jinx doesn't protect. And we can just drop this thing with a Meteor Mash. Because I would love to go one for one here. And then eventually get out like my Garchomp. Drop a Quake. Or do something along those lines. But that's the problem with Cinderace. You never know what typing it's going to be. Like, I can go for a Quake and he can go for an Airstream. That could just be his thing. Jinx is going to fake out onto Whimscott. Ooh. Now Cinderace probably outspeeds, right? I don't like that one bit. Are you going after Whimscott? Ouch. Tough one. Tough one. Smart play by him, though. Smart play by him, though. But, with that said, now I can bring out the better fiery boy in the drought. My main man, Charizard. We're going to get out Charizard here. And with this Tailwind, we should be able to outspeed easily. Now I can just Dynamax and go for a Quake. Even though it's not Stab, I feel like we can still take, take him out. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does, because we're going to be able to outspeed after his Tailwind, and we should totally be rocking off line. I think we should be able to take out the Cinderace, no problem. And just get after him. But, tough call by me with that Lucario. I, I did see that Flare coming in here, but I thought I could get off a Meteor Mash before the Flare even came out. So I was like, okay, if I can go one for one, I'd totally be fine with that. And then just get my Charizard out here. But now we're sitting here. Now we're sitting in this position. Tailwind pops. Quake is going to fly through. I think this Quake should be able to pick up the KO. It's solar power. It's not stab, but it's life orb and solar power, which I really like. And super effective. Yep. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. You wanted the drought. You gave me the drought. You started this war. <laughs> Cinderace sets that drought, y'all. I was like, I have to get Charizard out here. There's no better Pokemon in the drought than Charizard. Charizard can sweep teams left and right. So we can get rid of that Pokemon. And what is Jinx going to do here? I'm gonna go for a lovely little kiss and I'm gonna dodge it because I'm in the drought and I'm just the best Pokemon in the drought. See, he even dodges attack in the drought. That's how good this Pokemon is. <laughs> so we have Whimscott right next to him. I wish I did have like helping hand on this Whimscott. Urshfu is gonna fly through here. Is that water Urshfu? I don't know. But I am gonna go for a wildfire just to start getting pester damage around. And I'm just gonna moon blast. I'm just gonna moon blast. That might be Dark Urshfu. I think it is Dark Urshfu by the way it stands. If it is Dark and he's not Sash, he's dead. 
he is going to be dead either way. It's going to be a double kill here. This is going to be a double kill. Considering we're going to have wildfire coming out here. It's going to be a double kill at the end of the turn. Sucker Punch can come through here. Weak play. Get him out of here. This one's over. With. We are dominating with this team. Wildfire comes through. Says Jinx. Do me a favor. Get out of my game. He's stashed. But Wildfire is going to bring it down. Mum's Kai is going to drop a uh, Moonblast. Moonblast is just going to take out Urshifu. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Get him out of here. Moonblast. Get him. Get after him. Moonblast says, get out my face. Get out my face. That is the best part about having Whimsicott up against a Dark Urshfu. Like, Dark Urshfu is so strong. Oh, yo, you lovely kiss me. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. It's all right. We have wildfire damage chipping around here. Jinx, get out my game. But like I was saying, that's my favorite part about having a Whimsicott is when they throw out a Dark Urshfu, it is four times super effective, and you just see this little fluff cotton ball just take out this giant fighting bear in one shot, no problem. Vegelaki is going to be final Pokemon, and I have Garchomp in the back, right? I have Garchomp. Yeah, yo, get out of here. GG's, man. GG's. Get this dude out of here. We'll just Moonblast start teeing off on this thing. I think two Moonblasts will do the job. Charizard is slumped, and he might just go for a T-Bolt. Let's see his play. Moonblast flies out, and we do outspeed in Tailwind, even though I think Tailwind is gone after this. Moonblast drops. e going to come through. Whimscott's able to eat, and Charizard's able to eat. Get out of here. Get him out of here. He started this, man. He took out my Lucario with the flare, and I was like, yo, I'm not having none of this. I'm not having none of this. Wildfire damage comes through. We only need one more turn. It's over with. Even if he picks up a double KO, even if he could, which he's not going to be able to, the wildfire damage would take it out. So let's rock it. Let's just go into a heat wave. Actually, I'm playing smart. I want to move with higher accuracy. We're going to go Scorching Sands here, even though, and it's super effective. And we're just going to Moonblast and finish this one off. He's going to cancel it, I bet. Right, you canceling it. There's the cancel. 2-0 and back-to-back oh, -to, -back to get this video started. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We are going up against a Torkoal Venusaur Sun team alongside with Inteleon, Tyranitar, Cresselia, and Regilecki. I get this dude props for using Inteleon. I feel like I haven't seen this Pokemon in forever. So I'm glad to see this Pokemon get a little bit of love on that ranked double ladder. But we want that perfect record. We do want that perfect record. I could go in with my Charizard. Could, I gotta bring Char- like, I have to bring Charizard, right? Charizard's a must bring. We're definitely gonna bring Charizard, but I'm not gonna lead him. I think I'm gonna lead Lucario again. I wanna show off this Lucario. I could bring Garchomp. I really do not need Charizard. But she's just great. She's just a great all-around Pokemon. So I'm definitely gonna bring Charizard because I'm looking for this win. I'm gonna lead Lucario because I really wanna show him off. Charizard and... Hmm. I would- I should go Garchomp again. But I want to show off other Pokemon. I don't want to use the same team the whole time. So we're going to bring Tapu Lele in here. See if we can get some work with it. I really don't care about showing off Regilek. Yeah, I use him in like every other team because he's just one of the best Pokemons or most dominant Pokemons in this series right now. But I definitely want to bring in this Tapu Lele. Try to get that Pokemon some love. And we have choice, two choice Pokemon right now. So win or lose, I really don't care. Because we already got that winning record. We already got that winning record. But if I'm really looking for that win, I would have definitely brought in Garchomp. No problem. No problem. But it definitely brought in Garchomp because Garchomp rocks out in this, uh, this situation. We're going to go in with Lucario and Whimsy again, which I dig. I really do dig it. I could just set up a lovely little Tailwind. And then I could just choice into a close combat, which I think I'm going to do. And try to get after some Talion. Really don't want to be having this Pokemon. Oh, he might ta or Trick Room. I totally forgot Cresselia Trick Rooms, but Inteleon's rather fast, so I do like where we're sitting right now. Tailwind's going to pop here. We are going to be able to drop a nice little close combat. Get after it. How much damage are we going to do? Maybe KO. Let's see. Oh, bring him down to a Sash. He might be Screens in Teleon. This thing is Sashing up. There goes our defense drop, so probably next turn we're just going to get dropped. Or if we get hit. Snipe Shot's going to come through here. That's probably going to take me out because he'll probably get the crit here, right? Yeah, there it is. No crit, but just my defense drop was, was in there. And he sets off a Trick Room. Smart Buttery Biscuit play. If he gets off the Trick Room, uh... Hmm. I want Scott is Sash. I am going to bring out the Lele. All right, let me see Lele's speed. Let me see my lovely little Lele's speed. 126. It's not bad. Not bad whatsoever. And I could choice into a Shadow Ball. It could be to play, but I think Psychic would be our better bet. Considering we are going to be in the Surge, they do get the boost, and it is Stab. As much as I want to choice into a Shadow Ball, I think Psychic would be the better all-around move. 
Let's see how this one plays out. I definitely want a Moonblast into you. They're rocking up against you. I could actually drop a Sunny Day. Hmm. What do I want to do? I could Gleam. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to Sunny Day here. Let's neglect some of that damage. And just choice into a Gleam. I think it's going to be a play. Choice into that Gleam. Sunny Day to neglect the snipe shot damage that is about to roll through on us. And then rock out from there. Let's see. Tapu Lele, I picked you for a reason. You got to come up clutch for us. You got to come up clutch for us. We did do big damage with that Lucario. I am really liking this Lucario set. But he's just a glass cannon. He hits really, really hard, but then he also gets hit really, really hard. Sunny Day pops. Moonblast going to fly through here. Onto Whimsy. Which guy is going to be able to eat. And I think a snipe shot is going to roll through here. You really get a special attack drop. Get out of my face. Snipe shot comes through. This is exactly why I dropped Sunny Day. Lele should be able to eat this up, no problem. Thank you. And Gleam's going to fly through here. Take out Inteleon and do a little bit of damage onto the Cresselia. Alright, I'm with it. Dude, I actually might screwed up. If he brings in Torkoal, it's over with. He has Trick Room and I gave him Sun. Actually, he would have just been able to set up Sun anyway, but... It's over with. I hate to break it to you guys. It is over with. He's going to Eruption and just get after me. We got a Moon Blast and we just got a choice into this. It's over with. It is 100% over with unless my Charizard comes out here and clutches up with us. Helping Hand Eruption. I can't do anything about it. We're done. We're done. Lele, eat it. No shot. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. See, now, now it would have been nice to have that guard chop. Would have been nice to have that guard chop. But if I was like actually playing this one, I would have probably led the Whimsicott and the Charizard. That probably would have been my play. Let's try to get after it. That way, I have Garchomp in the back and Lucario in the back end as well. But this is our last hope here. This is our last hope. We are going to go for this Quake. Try to pick up the KO here, which I think we can if we, uh, if we land this. Let me get a special defense boost here as well. And I wonder who his final Pokemon is. It could be Venusaur, and that could work in our favor. That could definitely work in our favor. Say we pick up a KO on the Torkoal now. Then Venusaur would be double speed in the sun, which means my Charizard would outspeed it. And we can take that out and roll out from there. So this battle's not over yet. Not counting us out yet. Because we know the power of Charizard. We know the power of this giant. What is this thing? Is this a dragon? Yeah, this thing's definitely a dragon. But it's not dragon type. It's weird. It's weird. He can have a third type and it'll totally be a dragon. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out here. Helping hand coming out here again. And what are you going for? You going for another eruption on me? I wonder how much damage it's going to do. Wow. That did a lot. That did a lot. We need a KO from the Quake here. 1,000% we need a KO from the Quake here. Let's see how this one plays out. We get it. We get it. But we're going to take life orb damage and solar power damage. I wish that eruption did not do as much as it did. But it, it did. It's just such a broken move when using Trick Room and Drought. It's ridiculous. But we're down to 98 HP. And my team's Tailwind does Peter out, which is good because they have Trick Room set up. They have one more turn in Trick Room. Now, is Venusaur going to be his final mod? Show it to me. I kind of want it to be it. Let me Tyranitar. Ooh. Ooh. Sandstream. Oh, no. He Sandstreams us. Buttery Biscuit. Son of a gun. Okay. Uh, what's the play here? Do I have to Quake into this thing? Or do I Wildfire over onto the... Uh, Cresselia. Because I can see Tyranitar potentially protecting. But I think this is like our last big bet here. Oh, he has Dynamax. I totally forgot he has Dynamax. <laughs> I was sitting there like, yeah, yo, we have a shot here. He has Dynamax. So even if he had Venusaur, he probably would just Dynamax Cresselia. Tyranitar comes out here as the final mod. Hopefully he's guarded. Do it. Go for the guard, man. Nope, no guard. Moonblast comes through. Oh, he's proccing policies. This dude's nuts. This dude is nuts. And he's going to drop a rock ball. And that is going to be GG. So, 2 and 1 for today's video. I feel like this team was phenomenal. I really do think this team was one of the best teams I used in a while. Really strong all around with the Charizard and Garchomp as big attackers and special attackers. And then you have that Lucario for back end Pokemon and Whimsicott to support.
Great set of battles for today's video. We were able to use that Garchomp and Charizard to lead us to a 2-1 winning record. The only thing I wish we were able to do is show off the Lucario and Tapu Lele just a little bit more. We were able to get them in on, into some battles, but we weren't able to show them off to the fullest potential in my opinion. Considering both these Pokemon can hit really, really hard and pick up KOs, I just feel like we didn't bring them in at the right times. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.